So I actually did not pass my NCLEX the first time. And I've been working on it, putting in overtime. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So this is a long-awaited YouTube video. A lot of people have been asking me questions on my TikTok and my Instagram. So why not make a YouTube video about it? So as you guys can already tell by today's title, I finally passed my NCLEX in 145 questions. I'm super happy that and relieved that I no longer have to study for this exam anymore because the stress, the anxiety, all like the tears were a lot going through this exam and I know a lot of you guys who have taken the NCLEX or who are studying for the NCLEX can relate with me. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I studied for my NCLEX as well as some tips that I wish I knew while studying for the NCLEX. I just wanted to share that a lot of the resources that may have worked for me might not necessarily always work for you. So use whichever material that you think will help you. So I actually did not pass my NCLEX the first time and I just wanted to share that it's totally okay if you don't pass your NCLEX the first time, the second time, the third time, or like it takes you multiple tries to pass. So I kind of wanted to share what I did the first time, what resources I used compared to the other time that I did pass. So the first time when I failed, I used UWorld and Mark K because everybody on TikTok, on YouTube was saying they swear by these two resources and that if you use them, you will pass. So I believe them because it was my first time taking the NCLEX. I didn't know anything about this exam. I went in there not really knowing what to expect. First time I also didn't create a study plan. I, I didn't know which topics were my weakness. I didn't have a set calendar on how many days I was going to study. I didn't know how many questions I was going to hit on a specific day. I kind of just studied all over the place. I had many resources, studied whatever, and basically I studied everything and everything. I studied for about seven days a week for 10 to 12 hours straight no rest um, I thought that I could not see the outside world and that everything had to revolve around the NCLEX and I literally thought that by doing that it will pay off and I'll be able to pass the first time but I was wrong because I didn't pass my first time so yeah after failing my first time it it was really hard to pick up to start studying again because I thought that my nursing career was over like it really sucked putting all that time and effort into studying for an exam and it didn't get the outcome that you wanted but I told myself that I knew I wanted this so badly and that I didn't want to study anymore so if I just study a little bit longer that it will pay off and I'm really glad it did so after failing I gave myself maybe about like two to three weeks to just heal recover from the process hang out with friends go on a trip um, really like clear my mind and get into this mode of all right when I come back from these next few weeks I'm ready to study even harder so I realized that UWorld and Mark K were not the resources for me so I just did a little bit more studying and I seen that people were using Archer and I found Dr. Z um, from NCLEX High Yield on my Instagram for you page so let's get into the resources that I used for my other attempt. Preparing for the next time that I took the exam, I came in fully prepared. I started off by creating a um, study calendar because once you fail your exam, you have 45 days before you can retake the exam again. So within those 45 days, I actually gave myself, I want to say about 60 days. I didn't want to just take it right then and there. I gave myself more room and I wanted to um, take the exam when I knew I was ready. So I actually made a calendar for myself starting off with like my weakness and going over those contents and then from there writing down all the content every day that I was going to hit and like study and then as well as I tried to shoot to do 75 to 145 questions a day. At first, in the beginning, it was a lot, so I, even though I set 75 questions, I could only reach like maybe about 50 because I was too tired. So, 
Yeah. But I highly suggest doing 75 to 100 question practice questions a day because it really gets your mind into that test taking habit. So the question bank that I used the second time around was Archer Review. I swear by Archer. I loved it so much. It is a lot cheaper than UWorld. I mean, if you want to spend your money on UWorld, go ahead by all means. But personally, I liked Archer better. I purchased their Rapid Combo. Um, in their combo, it has like all their their Q bank, but it also includes like some of their on-demand lectures. So I didn't really watch a lot of their lectures. I only watched their 10-hour review, but their Q bank is really good. Um, I what I really liked about Archer was their readiness assessments as well as their CAT exams. You can take unlimited amount of those um, compared to U World, where U World only lets you take i think one or two readiness assessments and that's it so yeah that's what i really liked about archer and i thought that archer really replicated the nclex well when it came to um wording their questions so i stand by archer <laughs> The second study material that I used is NCLEX High Yield. Dr. Z is amazing. He truly is like chef's kiss. If I didn't find him, I probably would still be studying for my NCLEX right now. Um, I started off by seeing him on my um, Instagram for you page and I seen that he posts like quick tips um, on his Instagram and then I also seen that he had a Spotify so I started listening to his Spotify as well as his free videos on YouTube and I knew I wanted to see more of him. He posted that he does like um, free weekly Zoom sessions on different topics every week and I really like how he explains certain topics so I looked into him more and I seen that he has uh, on-demand lectures. It is very pricey but it's such a great investment. The way he breaks down these topics are really good and it makes you understand in a way like you've never really understood before. I feel like if I found him during nursing school, I would have gotten way better grade than I did. Dr. Z has this thing called the method and ask graph. These two things are my holy grails. I use them the entire time on my NCLEX. I wrote it down on the whiteboard. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go check his YouTube out. He explains it so well. I feel like he explains it a lot better than if I were to do it. So go watch that video. So what I did was I watched one of his lectures or his topics every single day leading up to my exam. Um, and then from there, I would take 45 questions based off of those topics that I studied. And then I will take another 45 questions of all the topics like mixed. How I did it when taking a test questions going back to Archer, I didn't use the tutor mode. A lot of people utilize it but for me I felt like I wasn't learning that way so I would just um, take all the questions and then after that I would go back and read my rationales. Um, in the beginning I started writing my rationales down but I realized I was just writing things down. I wasn't actually memorizing it. The only way that I figured out that I was memorizing things were through flashcards and sticky notes. That's how I was able to retain my information. Third and final resource that I used for studying for my NCLEX is NCLEX Crusade. NCLEX Crusade is on YouTube. It's free. He posts a bunch of NCLEX videos. However, I just used his seven-day NCLEX training or something like that. He does a really good job going through and breaking down test taking strategies which is really helpful when it comes down to the NCLEX because not only should you know content but you should really know how to answer NCLEX style questions and NCLEX Crusade does a really good job with that so go ahead and watch him so those are the three resources that I used for studying for my NCLEX when I pass the second time around I just wanted to say that you should always stick with less than four resources because I feel like if you use more than four, it'll be like too much. Besides that, I wanted to share some tips that I wish I knew while studying for the NCLEX. First one is to make sure that you don't let anyone know about your test date. Um, doing this a second time around eased so much anxiety on me because nobody knew that I was going to take my NCLEX. So it was only me going into the NCLEX and if I didn't pass, it's okay because 
nobody would know if you can try to keep your test date to yourself if not just your like significant other or maybe just your mom or your dad my second tip for you guys is to create your own study plan i mentioned this um earlier if you want to see how people did theirs to start like a basic template then go ahead but as far as like which t content you should be studying every single day go based off of what your strengths and weaknesses are the third tip that i want to give to you guys is don't let your guys's test scores on your guys's question banks define you um i wasn't actually scoring high before i passed my nclex i was getting like borderline i wasn't getting 70s i was getting like 60s so yeah don't let those scores define you because you can still pass and then another tip that i wanted to share was don't study for longer than eight hours a day i did this the first time and it was overkill the second time around when i took my exam i studied for only five days a week for four to six hours and i made sure to take breaks in between i felt so good because i didn't feel like i was burned out i was i wasn't mentally fatigued i wasn't getting like eye strain so always take your breaks always have time for self-care and yeah so those are all the resources that i use to pass my nclex as well as some tips that i have for you guys for those of you guys who are studying for your guys's nclex or who may still be in nursing school that's going to take your guys's nclex down the line i just wanted to say that you guys can do it and good luck you guys can do it whether it be for your NCLEX or studying for a nursing exam but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you guys have any more questions or if you guys want to see more videos like this but besides that I hope you guys are having a wonderful rest of your guys' day and I'll see you guys all in my next video bye I've been working on it putting in overtime putting in overtime